Hello. 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 All right. So now, as you've got your first pair of glasses, yes. I know that you want to have a tint done in your spectacles, so I'm going to go through a few examples of what we can do for you. Okay. So. Mm. This is a chart to show you all the different colours that we can do and what transmission effect we can have for them. So to start with, as I open this up, we've got some different coloured browns. So you can have them as dark as 85% transmission and you can have them as light as 15% transmission. Okay. Now the whole point of that is that um, everybody wants them done differently so if I just hold these up to show you right. okay. so the darker the colour mm -hmm. the lower the light transmission yes and as we go through with the brown lenses mm -hmm. um, so we can see that's very dark mm -hmm. now I wouldn't recommend wearing this darker lens for driving so this would be the darkest I would recommend for driving. Okay. If you're driving at night, this lighter colour would be the darkest I'd recommend for driving at night. Okay. The reason for it, if we cut out some of the light, you're going to miss a lot of the detail. It's already dark. Yeah. Um, when it comes to um, the dark tints for driving in the daytime, there are leg legislation there is legislation for mm -hmm. what you can wear mm -hmm. when driving okay. how much you can block out of the light okay. is it 20 percent um, you can't go above 20 percent transmission with tinted lenses when driving at night. you can't go above you can't go lower than 20 the lower than 80 yes, percent yes. of the light taken yeah. away okay um, so the same with the tint. night it's work on the same category yeah, okay. the same basis when it comes to driving at night time mm -hmm. it's 20 percent of light taken away mm -hmm. in the daytime 20 percent of the light has to be left yes it's the easy way to work it out okay so yes um i think this would be nice for my driving spectacles yeah the also another advantage of having the brown there's yellow into brown mm -hmm. and yellowing of the lenses can help slightly to enhance mm -hmm. but we'll come to a better colour than this as we go along okay so that's right. a maybe definitely yeah. maybe all right now we'll go on to some of the colours if you wanted a lens that looks darker um, for the visual wise then if we go on to the grey, now with the grey lens, the optical effect is that the light itself is taken away more so. When it comes to the brown, that seems to, seems to take away more glare, but gives you some of the light there mm -hmm. that you hadn't got before. Mm -hmm. um, well, that you had got, but was glaring you before. With this, this actually makes things look darker. But colours stay exactly the same, but okay. with that dull, dulled effect. Mm. But again, it's the same category, what you can wear day and night, even with the grey as well. Mm -hmm. So with the grey lenses, everything will appear darker, mm. but colours will stay the same. Right, okay. All right. Could there be... Do you want to closer say, look at them? There could be more glare with the grey compared to a brown. Not, not really, because you're taking the light itself away. But you can have the effect of it appearing to be darker okay. than the brown okay. when you're looking at something. Okay. I think if I select a, a dark pair of frames and I'm looking at something like the 50-50, I feel. I just think this is too dark. Similarly with this one, the 75 absorption. But I like the 50-50. In a lot of cases, then they recommend that you have a lens colour to suit the colour of the frame that you've had. Yes. That isn't always the case. Mm. Um, 
if you've got a yellow frame, you don't really want a yellow lens. Mm. But how many frames are yellow these days? Well, there aren't many, but there yeah, are some. There are some. Okay. I think if I have a, the brown one for my gold pair. Yeah. And a fifty percent for my dark pair. All right. Okay. Do you have any more? We'll, yeah, I'm going to go through some more colours okay. and I can explain where they benefit you. So as we move on to the next tint, we're now looking at some greens. Now with the green, they still have the same transmission and absorbency rate as the other tints, but the effect is that they don't appear to be as dark when you look through them. Right. A famous green tint is the Ray-Ban G15 and although these aren't the Ray-Ban G15 these are um, still giving you a good idea mm. as to what the greens can look like but again they have the same absorbency, absorbency and mm. transmission factors as the other tints I think I think the seventy five percent absorption tint is nice for sunglasses. And it's got a very gentle and mellow feeling grey. It's one of my favourite colours. Okay. So which ones are gay? Would you prefer on this one for sunglasses? And I'll consider the twenty five per cent absorption tint uh, in my driving spectacles. Would something like this colour be okay for indoor computer use, or would I be looking at something different? No, I'll we'll show you we'll come across them okay. in a moment. Right. You tend to have more blues for that. Right. Right. So, as we move on, so you didn't expect there to be so many colours, did no, you? No, I for just I just thought it was brown, grey. Well, the pink. most common so the most common effect is brown and grey. Mm. Um, you've heard the saying, rose tinted lenses. Mm. I'm going to come back to browns now, but this time these are graduated tint. Right. So when you're looking through the top of the lens, that's a much darker lens. Right, right. As you're looking through the bottom of the lens, it's much lighter in colour. Okay. So if you wanted to use, if, you, if you've if you got a, a really poor photophobia, you could go for a dark lens, which will stop the sun coming in at the bottom when you're going indoors all the time mm. the real problem with that is that you then can't read mm. because all the light's mm. taken away mm. with the graduated tint you still get the protection from the sunlight mm. but you can then still read that's a so, great idea so there's mm. the brown oh, graduated wow. you certainly threw the cat amongst the pigeons now after showing me the fixed tints. the advantage of these as i've just explained if you're wearing a bifocal or a very focal you have got your reading Indeed lens, part. but mm. if you've got a dark lens, mm. you're going to struggle to read. Indoors. Yeah, you need that light, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I think this is great. And you can buy some sunglasses with graduated tints. Mm. I think if I get a pair for holiday, I'd like the 75% absorption. Then when I go into my villa, I can read the uh, Financial Times while I'm um, the advantage the, the advantage you've got well you like lobster do you? I like That's lobster good. with Mary Rose sauce yes. very nice mm. the um, advantage of having them for holiday it's amazing how many people walk into a shop on holiday mm. and forget they've got their sunglasses on mm. and then they can't see anything mm. ok lovely Thank so you. I'm going to show you next um, more graduated 
but it's again it's colours you've already seen okay. but this time in the graduated and what you will notice with the grey it doesn't look as dark where at the top mm. with the graduated coming in mm. with the graduation it almost gives you a blue hue doesn't it it does yeah. yeah I think the same thing for sunglasses depending on the on the colour of your frame I really, think it would be it? black so it'll be a grey so the, the grey supersedes the, the brown graduated tint same absorption factor please Got that thank you and we're probably only halfway through these tints mm, now mm. we have got some much more specialized tints to come through and now this is again showing you with the green tints okay although personally I think for your sunglasses yeah I think the solid green yeah. would be better than the graduated green all right okay whereas with the other colors um the graduated would have better benefits mm, mm. but the green doesn't take away as much light i'm a little bit of a quandary now you've shown me the green compared to the gray yeah would you recommend i replace the gray graduated with the green for for your sunglasses yes. well the fact that you was keen to have a green mm. graduated mm. Uh, a green solid tint mm. for your sunglasses initially okay. then it might be the case okay so we'll scratch the gray please we'll go okay the green graduated same absorption factor please got to compare the three there i mean the brown is pretty the green is something different and yes the grey is very ubiquitous that's a big word mm. thank you thank you right we're starting to come on to some specialist tints this particular tint is called india and it's more of a rose colored tint mm. you've heard the term seen through road color, rose colored lenses mm. instead of taking away light this adds light but takes away the glare at the same time right so it's not necessarily the favorite color to walk around with mm. for what people see mm. this is more a case of what you see right as the okay. benefit so we get increased light but reduced glare yeah so with the india tints yeah okay. But it still follows the same rules and regulations when driving right but you will notice now that there's much fewer mm. ranges of lenses yeah, so option. in fact the absorption rate the darkest is only 50 percent mm. so you mm. you've got to tint it a long way mm. to get to 50 percent mm. and again the bottom one that's the darkest you'd be allowed to go for driving at night yes despite the fact that it gives more light mm. and takes away the glare mm. so are they good for driving well for that they'd be all right for driving mm. but they will change color of traffic lights ah okay that's not a problem because we know the order that they're, they're not everybody's thinking about that when they look at them mm. so it, to me it's not recommended for driving but there are a lot of areas where you'd want this mm. Mm. so if you're working in a in a an environment where the lighting isn't brilliant this would be perfect right. in any of them right. depths of color. okay pretty but not for me at the moment okay. at this moment in time at least. thank you the next specialist tint is this we call this one orient it's more of a lilac and again I think this is good for a lady's sun specs mm, mm. and when when you get have you ever seen them where you've got three or four different colors mm. like a rainbow effect across the lens so you go for the India and the Orient mm. there's two different colors and probably even put a third color in with them all right okay and they would make a nice mm. color okay. for, for something special and something different right okay I'll certainly tell my wife about this option and I'll get her to come and see you but, uh, 
They're pretty, but probably not for me at the moment. All oh, right. And the next one, now this is a good one. This is called the Caribbean. This one would be actually very good um, as it's a blue lens mm. for computer mm. use. Mm. I've been to the Caribbean many times, so this is wonderful. Lovely. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect for when I'm working on my laptop in the uh, yeah, but in the Caribbean for using for using your laptop. If mm. you're using it outside, you want the darker tint. Mm. Using it indoors, mm. you'd want it to be more of a lighter yeah. tint. Definitely this one, please. Computer yeah. there. If it's going to help, in, how does it help with the computer screen? It um, reduces the amount of blue light glare that you get. All right. So that is what tends to be if you was looking at your computer and you was in bed for example it would mm. keep you awake mm -hmm. but at the same time it would make you feel tired okay wearing the blue filter mm. will stop you feeling tired mm. if you were using it in the day but it will also stop you being kept awake all right i think i had a blue filter on these can you tell you have got a blue filter on those right. yeah. okay so those have been useful for the computer yes yeah yeah Okay. You've already noticed a benefit. Yes. But this okay. one is done in a different way because that's not a tint, that's a coating. Mm. Mm. And not everybody wants or can handle a coating because if you're driving with those on, what you find is car headlights that hit the back of the lens look like a blue light in your screen, in All your, right. in your um, lenses. All right. And so. You, Loads of times you'll be thinking the police have following you. Mm. You look behind and they're not. All right. <laughs> okay. Now we're coming on to what a lot of people would use for night driving. It, you can buy spectacles, although it's not really accurate, that they call night driving lesson lenses. Mm. Um, you can buy them on the internet and they come with a yellow lens okay but the problem that they had that you have with it is it doesn't tell you what the light transmission is on them right. and so people can be buying them thinking they're fantastic to drive at night and keep them on at night but they keep them mm. on at night mm. and unless it's that tint mm. they're breaking the law by wearing yes, them yes. in the uk anyway right so when you look at them yeah Okay. And in fact, if you hold that up to your eye, you'll see the effect that it has. Now you'll need to take it away from. That's it. And hold that up against your eye. You can already see things look brighter through it, yeah. don't they? Yeah. So this helps with glare from. Quite yeah. Ridiculous. This but is really good. So the top one could be good for a day, not day driving yeah, day. lens. Yeah. And the bottom tint would be good for a night driving lens. Okay. Yeah. I think we'll try the top one. All right. A new pair of driving spectacles. Thank you. All right, thank you. And moving on. Now we're coming on to Sahara. This is a type of brown, but this is a yellowy brown. So this would have a similar effect to your browns that you've got that you came across at the start, mm -hmm. but with more to do with the Madagascar that you've already is so it's like a cross between the two. Mm -hmm. okay. So whereas the the original brown yeah. has got is more of a reddy brown. Yes, yes. This one being a yellowy brown. Yeah. This is the last tint on the cards. Oh, as this well. is the final one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're very pretty. Mm. I'm not too keen on the 
the shade, the colour. No, but no. again, if you use it, hold it up to your eye to have yeah. a look through, and you'll be quite surprised at the effect that it gives. So you can see it's enhancing everything at the same mm. time mm. as. Yeah. Well, the top tint's, tint's very good. But again, people make the mistake of thinking they can buy it and use that for yeah, for driving, but it's for driving in the night. It's too it? dark for driving. Yeah. yeah, night driving, should I say? Okay. Put that on the list for next time. The fifty-fifty one, and I'll have a look. All right. Well, so that's given us plenty to think about, yes. and a little bit more information on um, certain tints. Mm. There are other options that you could have, mm. which is you can have um, transition lenses, mm -hmm. or different companies have different names, and they are they do react slightly different. Um, but Essilor, for example, do a lot of these colours. Mm as a transition lens right so you could go for a lilac lens that only goes lilac when you're outside in the sunlight yeah. does it go completely clear inside it does right. yes there's no obvious no obvious residual, residual tint. tint um my i'm going to show you my spectacles because mm. these have got mm. these are actually hoyer lenses so these are sensitive lenses so that's a different mode but you can see with them mm. if if you put that face down on the white you can see there is a residual tint very slight but when I'm wearing them you can't see that at all right okay lovely well that was no problem. very informative and eye-opening thank you all right and so yeah. think about it and yeah. then let me know what you want all right um, I'm not going to send your order in for your glasses mm. Um, for two days mm. so we give you two days to think about the, exactly okay. what you want I've recorded what your opinions are mm. what you feel mm. you want mm. so it'll be very easy for me to come along and, mm. and order them mm. for you mm. okay right. lovely thank you thank you now <coughs>